Hello, it's VTR Dave. Welcome back to the channel. And today, well, we're at the NEC Toy Fair in Birmingham, in the heart of the UK. It's been an early start on a Sunday morning, but this is supposed to be packed. There are over 580 tables. Let's see what we can find. Let's see who we can meet. Let's crack on. As usual, I went for the early bird ticket. Dealers were still setting up, but as I was walking around, I spotted quite a lot of vintage goodness. If I was to sum up this show in two words, it would be dinosaurs and meetups. It didn't take long to find my first pickups. It won't be any surprise that they are dinosaur related. In fact, they are dino riders. The first one I picked up is this guy. I'm probably gonna butcher the name. Quetzalcoatlus? <laughs> I mean, you can't really go wrong, can you? Dinosaurs and lasers. In fact, I've got the accessories to go with this as well and the figure. And I also picked up this guy as well. His name is, I think, Styracosaurus. <laughs> I've probably butchered that as well. This is quite a cool dinosaur. Again, comes with loads of accessories and lasers and what have you. My collection of dino riders is growing now. In fact, ever since I did the restoration of Steve's T-Rex, I think it's fair to say I've got the bug. There was a fair amount of action force at the show today, including this lovely Sky Striker, but I'll pass on that one. And I also spotted this set of complete, unused, advanced Dungeons and Dragons figures, including this very rare Meta Flame with all of its accessories. Ah, I spent some time thinking about this one, but decided to pass as well, because I already have this Meta Flame. It's incomplete. I guess it's the age old dilemma for collectors. Do you buy complete? or incomplete. Oh well, in this case, someone else hopefully picked that up at the show and I'm gonna have fun over the next few years trying to find the accessories. Next weekend, it's Echo Live, so understandably, there wasn't that much vintage Star Wars on show, but you could still find some good items. There were some amazing boxes of spare parts that you could rummage through. And uh, of course, I can always spot a General Medina or two. And I did pick up something vintage Star Wars. It's not quite in the condition that you would expect. It's a wreck, in fact. I picked up this vintage Y-Wing, I don't have one of these in the collection. As you can see, it needs a lot of work. It's really grubby. Some bits are missing. I have no idea if the electronics work. I know that the undercarriage is very stiff and I can't really get that to work either. So yeah, I'm looking forward to digging into that. I do have some of the parts, There's some of the struts there. I don't think I've got all of them though, so I'll have to see how I can fix that. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into this and uh, making this a future VTR restoration. Did you look at the, uh, the WWF um, oh, graded yeah, figures? The yeah. yeah, that's Tommy. He's, he, he's only about three. Today hasn't just been about the vintage goodness that's on show, but it's also been a real chance to meet up with friends and fellow collectors, some of which I haven't seen for a while, and some which have traveled from afar. Let's have a look at the collector's album. Deal was made in the back of a van 
in the car park. And no, that's not a joke. I had prearranged a deal with Julian, who you've just seen in the collector's album. By sheer chance, it's some more dinosaurs. I've picked up this Diplodocus, one of the larger dino riders, looking awesome. I do have lots of the accessories. I haven't had a chance to sort through this yet, so I apologize. I do need to do some servicing of the motors just to make sure everything is running smoothly. And that's not the only dinosaur. I've also picked up the Triceratops. This is complete with all the accessories. Again, I need to do some servicing on the motor. So he'll be running sweet as anything. So thanks Julian for the deal. Really appreciate that. And as I say, once these all set up, I'll post some images on Instagram. It wasn't until late in the day that I spotted this next item and it instantly became my favourite thing at the show. It's an original Palitoy Action Man shot display in immaculate condition. It even featured the Canadian Mountie and I would have loved to have walked home with it but I think there's only two that are known to exist and the price reflects its rarity. But even so, just seeing it made my day. He's on the hunt. He's on the hunt to break away from the table. He's broke away from the table. Five minutes. Time was getting on, so I decided to have a look for any last minute items. And guess what? I came across another dinosaur. This one was intriguing, intriguing enough that I pulled the trigger. Now, the reason I went for this dinosaur is because it's made by Tyco, the same guys that produce dino riders. This is the Styracosaurus. And if that sounds familiar, it's because I already bought one of these early in the show. Here's the dino rider version. It's exactly the same mold. And I've read about this. I believe that these are so realistic that they ended up being sold in museums. If you have a look on the back, it tells you about the dinosaur. And here are the others that are available. They're all Dino Riders moulds, basically. So if anyone out there knows anything about these Tyco dinosaurs on card, let me know. I'm really intrigued. I just want to take the opportunity to thank David World's Toys for gifting me this Batman bust. This is going to go to my brother, who absolutely loves Batman. So, Dave, thank you very much for your generosity. After saying goodbye to the gang, I made my way home, and in the car, I could reflect on the day's events. NEC is a fantastic show, Loads of stalls there today. It's probably one of the largest that they've ever had. It was really busy and I met loads of people. It was really good to catch up with friends and fellow collectors. I also met Stu and Georgie, who you've seen in my Sandown videos. Also met Retro Holder 87 in his yellow top. Also, you've seen him in my Sandown videos. And I'm really pleased with all the pickups today as well. I managed to expand my Dino Riders collection. And there won't be another NEC until April next year, which is a bit of a shame. But we do have Echo next week, and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be heading there or not. Maybe. We'll see. Till next time. Thank you for staying till the end. Reward yourself with another VTR Classic. Or just leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and cheers.